Hello Yu-Gi-Oh fans, this is Paolo Jasmine Gonzalez here and today I'm going to be showing <coughs> number one, I'm a little bit sick so I apologize my voice is not sounding uh, as it should and here's my face, hi um, so yeah, I've been showing my Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for x -Sabers. I fell in love with the series in 2004 and I began watching it uh, more frequently lately and uh, I discovered that I had some cards at home and I decided to start playing the game. So, without further ado, here's my X Saber deck. And uh, for starts, let's see, I have two X, X Saber Fall Troll. I decided to play two because the last week I played it and having um, three Fall Trolls was getting too cloggy. I have two Patchouls, X Saber Patchouls. Here's where it gets a, a little bit different from most builds that I have seen. I'm playing two X Habers Galahad. I like the warrior build. Um, I do stage combat and I consider myself a warrior. Um, I am playing two X X Saber Fulham Knight. Uh, yep, here's the other one. I didn't. I decided not to play three because again it was getting a little bit too cloggy. I like playing uh things a little bit different. I am playing one dark X X X Saber Dark Soul. Honestly this card got so cloggy because it wasn't my opponent wasn't attacking it, so it became to so totally useless. So I decided to play only one. Besides I have more than enough monsters here so I don't need to do too much searching basically. Um same thing with this one, XX Saber Emerald Blade. Yeah, it's a fake. You can special summon um, when this card is drawn by Barons into a graveyard. You can special summon level four or lower X Saber monster from your deck. But for me, it was getting a little bit too cloggy, in my opinion. So um, again, it depended on like it dying and going to a graveyard. So because I'm holding more than enough monsters here, I'm holding. I am decided to only hold one of them. <coughs> Another card that is going to surprise some people is Marauding Captain. Um, now, if you heard, there are a lot of uh, level 3 monsters, so uh, that's why I decided to run it. Uh, and I'm running two of the Marauding Captain. Um, also, this would be good for doing a quick XC play into MX Saber Invoker. I'm not going to get into details of the cards. If you have played the game, you know what the card does, so you don't need me to, to go over that. Um, let's see. My favorite card, one of my favorite cards, X Saber Anu Piranha. Uh, again, she's an 1800 bitter, and I just like her, so that's why I'm running here. I'm running two of her. I am running an X Saber Herbalum because he looks like Wolverine, and besides, his effects is really good. Um, and I have uh, here uh, the other card that I have, which is missing, is X Saber. XX Saber Bogger Knight, and I'm holding three of him because he's a good one to summon. You normal summon him, you some you special summon other monster, so you can swarm very quickly the, the field. Um, another one card that I'm testing out and kind of like it is Crane Crane because there are a few level three monsters, so like Full Knight and Emerald's Blade and Dark Soul. Basically, I just normal summon him, and if they are in the graveyard, I can special summon him and go for a quick XC or a synchro play. And uh, finally, XX Saber Hagigura, just because of his effect, um, which is very good. The other cards I'm running is a uh, Cream Force Truth, Torrential Tribute, Enemy Controller. Reinforcement of the army. I have a big mess with my cards, so I apologize. Um, Call of the Haunted. I'm running two. Uh, two meter forces. Because they are staple. Um, I am running three Mystical Space Typhoon. My deck is probably about 45 cards, so. Um, and uh, let's see. I'm running one Trapstone because I only have one. I am running a Divine Wrath 
and we decided to try this one and if you're not familiar with a with uh, the effect basically when a monster effect is activated discard one card negate the activation if you do destroy that monster so it's kind of like an effect veiler but instead of like only negating the effect you also destroy the monster which is kind of useful uh, two Gotham's emergency call because I only have two so that's the two Gotham's emergency call in there one solemn warning because you can only play one one saber hold basically has the same effect as solemn warning except for the fact that i only had i don't spend my life points so and i'm holding one because i only have one one compulsory evacuation device one bottomless trap hold um and uh here is where else i'm deviating a little bit i'm only holding one findy chain i know i should be running two but i decided only to run one because well, yeah, I decided to try on the running one and see how it works. The other trap cards, which increase my deck to a size that not many people like to play, it's the card at one with the sword. So I did, I'm going to see how it works. I know some people don't like playing it, but I decided I'm going to give it a shot because it seems to be like a very good card, especially because it give 800 to my X sabers in attack and then. After if they destroy a monster by battle, I get to draw one card, so it might speed up my deck a little bit. And I'm playing three of them because I got a lot of uh, sabers, and I'm pretty sure that they might probably need it. Especially with the beater, it would be kind of interesting to see how it works with like a saber Galahad. That will be 1800 plus 800. That will be 26 plus a saber Galahad gets 300 attack points when he attacks. Will be 2900 beater. That's a lot, and you know, without synchro or anything, that can be useful. And finally, the one, the last card that would be the weird card of the deck that people would be laughing when they see this, but that's fine with me. It's a uh, Nordic Relic Levitin. Why? Well, because some of my monsters are going to die when my opponents attack them. I decided to play it and try to see if they survive a little bit longer and the card basically says select one monster on the field and destroy a monster by battle the storm destroy the selected monsters destroy the selected monster cards and effects can be activated in response to this card so if for example if my opponent destroy my monster i activate this and his opponent get destroyed and he cannot activate cards or effects to um, in response of this card so basically i destroy his monster too you kill my monster I destroy your two. So that's the funny part about this card. It, you know, it's just for the more fun of it. Because it seems a lot of fun to play. Um, anyway, that covers the main deck. Now let's go to the extra deck. <coughs> I, as I said, I'm a little bit sick. So my voice sounds a little bit sexier today. Not really. Anyway, so, extra deck, X Saber Wayne. Decided to try it, see how it works, and then had it last week. Uh, number 17, Leviathan Dragon. Again, with all the level 3s, I'm pretty sure this will come handy. Photon Strike Bouncer, you know. Uh, Armatis, Keeper of Boundaries. Gaia Knight, the Force of the Earth. A light of Justice Catastor, for those of you that know what it does, seems like a good card to play. Crimson Bladder, Colossal Fighter, Stardust Dragon, HTS Simoth, X6 Saber, he only, I only have one, it would be nice to get a second one. X Saber Souza, one X Saber Gotham's, one MX Saber Invoker, and I didn't have too much choice and I decided to go with Game Night Pearl. Anyway, that's it for today. This completes my version of the X Saber deck and hopefully soon I will have another deck profile and you know comments, suggestions, that will be awesome. If you are interested, if not, well you know, just leave a comment and anyway. Um see you, that's it.